Well, hello there, my fellow rushers. How are you doing today? King Rex here. Today we're continuing on with our uh, Legends of Kingdom Rush uh, companion reviews. Or should I say, uh, champion re hero reviews, whatever you want to call them. Today we're going to be continuing on with Alok. So let's see what he has. I'll honor my pact. So let's see. After aiding Vezna in his uh, uprising, Alok embarks on his own quest to. Stop the unblinded code from summoning an ancient creek. Greater evil to this dimension. Alright. So yeah, he, now his uh, statistics. At level 1, what, do we, what, what, what does he have? He has 5 HP, 0 armor. Even though his attack stat says 4, it's actually 3. And he has 2 movement speed with range of 4. That's pretty decent. He has relatively good um, starting stats. Not too great, not too bad. Now for his uh, traits. He has uh, Infernal Combustion, which is pretty simple. He ex whenever he dies, he explodes and every enemy that's adjacent to him takes damage. And he sets get and the enemies also get set on fire for two turns. It's uh, pretty meh, to be honest. Like, unless, Olok, uh, unless you want Olok to die, this ability is pretty much useless. He also has Preparation, which is uh, a trait that pretty much every mage has. If you don't u don't use any actions, your abilities that are on cooldown are gonna get reduced by one. So that's good. And the last thing is Fireborn. He's immune to burning status. So if he is catch if he catches on fire, he's actually got not gonna take any damage because he's immune to it, which is pretty good. Now his first uh, skill, though, it's a full action and it's called Seal of Immolation. I'll deal with you. This ability is pretty darn OP. It stuns enemies in a big area. It has range of 4, so you can cast it from quite far away. And on top of that, it's a, it's a, it, it, it's a, it makes enemies catch fire, it stuns them, and it has a burning tower duration of 2, so, of, uh, for 2 turns. So, yeah. It's a very strong ability, it can, tr it, can ca it can also trigger scenery, but it can also affect your own units. It has friendly fire, basically, so just keep that in mind. Okay, now let's move on to Alok at level 2. Now his HP gets a pretty substantial boost, his damage gets increased all the way up to 5, and that's pretty much about it. He doesn't get any extra armor, no extra movement speed, and the rage is the same. So yeah, not a lot of things are changing, but at least he gets a tank here and his damage actually becomes pretty good. Because at 5 HP, uh, sorry, 5 damage, you can one-shot a good amount of enemies. Now let's talk about his abilities. Starting off with the first one, Magma Eruption. The heat is on. I'll deal with you. So yeah, the ability is pretty darn good. It's basically it's it, it's pretty simple. It deals uh, his base damage plus one. So if he deals five damage, six or seven, this ability is gonna do additional one, which is pretty good because you can one shot some enemies that you will not be able to one shot with your basic attack. It also has an epic effect where it deals one physical damage to any, to any adjacent enemies, and on top of that, it also sets them on fire for one turn. Honestly, pretty epic effect, and on top of that, it can also affect your own units, so... Yeah, this ability does have some uh, friendly fire to it. And for a 3 turn cooldown, I don't find it to be great, but it's definitely the best ability that he has, because the other two are a bit questionable. Like this one, Magma Rift. Make them burn! <laughs> Deal with you. Yeah, 
Yeah, the ability is pretty underwhelming. The damage is low, but I, I guess it's good for cleanup. Like, it, if you have an enemy that's low on HP and you can you want to damage some other enemies, it's fine. But again, for a 3 turn cooldown ability, I don't find it to be that good. Unlike, I mean, it, it's decent at least. At least, at least it has uh, some good range. Unlike his other ability, Burning Claw. Yeah, pretty underwhelming. I mean, yeah, the don't get me wrong, the damage is okay, but you need to be pretty much in melee range in order to use this ability. And that's uh, very bad, because on even though Oluk does have some decent HP, he he's not really meant to be up close. All of his abilities require... Uh, all, of all of his abilities, besides this one, are have, uh, have pretty long range. So this ability kind of uh, counteracts with his playstyle. And yeah, I said... Uh, uh, applying burning to the main target is fine, but eh, eh, I don't find this ability to be that good. It's only good if somehow an enemy gets very close to Allock, but other than that, I don't find it to be that good. Plus, you can always kite back, unless you're like literally at the, at the edge of the map, so yeah, Burning Claw is pretty underwhelming, especially for an ability that you unlock so late into the game. Now, let's move on to Allock at level 3. Now, as you can see, he has a chunk of HP, so he can take a comfortably an attack or two. His damage increases all the way up to 7, so you can one-shot uh, a, a lot of enemies. And he gets a range increase. Now he has 5 range instead of 4. So you can hit, you can hit enemies comfortably without them being a problem. M not melee enemies, that is. Okay, now for his abilities, because that's where all the magic is at. Starting off with uh, Demonic Duplication. Honestly, it's uh, good, but also not that great. I mean, sure, you summon a copy of yourself, and you can definitely snipe a lot of enemies from that distance, but the replica only has 1 HP and it deals 5 damage. And don't get me wrong, if you, might, if you manage to protect it for the full duration, you can do 10 damage with it, which is not bad. But because it's so easily one-shotable, I don't find it to be that good. It's kinda meh, not gonna lie. Unlike his other summon, though. Demon Lord Skull. So yeah, you summon a Demon Imp, but, uh, but he is a little bit stronger. He does have the same HP, but he deals between 5 to 7 damage. And that's a lot of damage. You can you can snipe out stuff like Flareons, something like Exultant even, if you, get, if you get some good RNG. And yeah, you can snipe a lot of uh, long-ranged enemies with this ability. It's pretty, pretty darn f fun to use. He does, he does last for 3 turns, and he can take an attack. It's not like the, the replica where it dies from pretty much anything. This, uh, this little guy can tank for a little bit, and if he dies, he still explodes on that, and he deals damage to people, and it sets them on fire. So yeah, it's pretty good, but not as good as the next ability. Fire Barrier. I will stop them. Tulian Aure.
Yeah, that ability is OP. <laughs> Gives you damage reduction, damage retribution, and I mean, what else can you can you ask for? It it, it has three turns cooldown and, and it lasts for three turns. So you can pretty much have someone permanently taking one less damage. It's kind of like the Orc Cleaver's parry stance, but not really. Also, a little thing that I forgot to mention, it does also make you immune to burning. But uh, I don't really think it makes sense, because you already get a damage reduction, so... Stuff like poison doesn't affect you either, so I'm not sure why you have to be immune to burning. But, okay. Okay, I guess. And yeah, it's a very strong ability, especially if you combine it with your cleaver. You get two damage reduction, and that's uh, insane. So yeah, Olok is generally really good. I would say he's probably one of the stronger mages in the game. He's not phenomenal by any means, he does take a while to scale up. I would say he, at level 2 that's when he kinda becomes good, but level 3 is really where all the magic starts to happen. But I won't say that he is bad. I will give him a solid 8.5 out of 10. Very good. I, I would say use him for use him pretty much anywhere you want. The only time when I would say he's not that good is in uh, Stormcloud's Winter, because that's where the, the enemies have the most uh, HP, because the, the, the weakest enemy that you can fight is the Winter Wolf, and he has 6 HP, so... Yeah, he's not gonna be able to do much against them. So, yeah, guys. Well, with that out of the way, that's gonna do it for uh, today's video. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. I appreciate you for sticking around to the end. Subscribe if you want to see more of this content in the future. And while you're at it, drop a like on the video. It means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Until it comes, that was King Rexy. Over and out.